Hi, I'm Brayden with Furuno. We're down here in the Florida Keys with Captain Rush Maltz. I just want to quickly go over what fish marks look like on the 3D historical perspective view using the DFF 3D multi-beam sounder. So Rush, we've got the 3D view on here. You know, we've talked about a lot of instances in which you use this view, you know, when bottom fishing and looking for structure. But there's a couple, you know, neat things that we can do on this view. You know, we've got the fish showing on the screen. We've got the wreck starting to come up. We're seeing that relief off the bottom. But if you want, if you go ahead, if you touch on those fish marks, you know, what we can do is we can see how deep down those fish are, and we can also see how far away they are. So just giving you more information, you know, to get you an idea of what fish are there and how they're holding on this wreck. We're gonna see more of the wreck come in and now we're seeing some fish holding deeper down on that right side of the wreck. You know, now that you've seen, you know, kind of where these fish are holding, you know, how we're presenting the wreck, we got a few up higher, you know, what would you typically do now, you know, in this situation? Would you continue to use this view? Or are you gonna go back to your, you know, traditional fish finder? and set up your drift or use maybe even the fish that are drifted feature as well? Well, both. I'm going to continue using this uh, view for a little while, mm -hmm. maybe make a couple passes, really get a good idea. See on my graph here on my scale, I can tell exactly how deep these fish are, you know, where they're sitting, where they're sitting relative to the wreck. I mean, it gives yeah. you a great view here. Yeah, that's see, good information. Here's the wreck, here's the fish, 125 feet off to the side of it, right? Yeah. So my next pass, I'm probably gonna try and set up just like that. Okay. Coming right over where those fish were hanging because they're hanging there for a reason. Once I get a good idea of where these fish are hanging, I'm probably gonna switch to the traditional green. Yep. And what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna look at that and try and decipher what kind of fish they are. And I, I have a good idea what the what different fish look like on that screen. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of pick apart, you know, your predators from your bait a little bit easier on the traditional fish finder view. But this has given us a nice idea of how those fish are holding around the wreck. Yeah, here. this view is going to give you a good idea of area, mm -hmm. where you want to set up. The other view is going to give you a good idea of what kind of fish they are, how many there are down there. Yeah. And it's also going to break them apart a little bit, give you individual fish marks. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks for explaining uh, how you use this view, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, in your, you know, in your charter captaining or, you know, when you're out with clients, whatever it is you're doing. This would be another quick tip on how to use your DFF 3D historical perspective and what fish marks will look like for you. For more information, go to furuno.com or check out our YouTube channel.